Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020, and this is the fourth lesson this week with the NG word endings, vowel plus NG. Let's review the ones we've learned previously. A N G ang and I'd also like to note that this is the only NG ending with a long vowel. The rest of them we will use short vowel sounds. Ing Ong and today's sound is ung. So let's review them one more time. A N G ang I N G ing O N G ong U N G ung Grab your whiteboard if you have it, your marker if you have it. And let's practice writing some ung words. I'm going to put a an s the s sound first. We're going to say the separate chunks and then push it together. S ung sung r ung rung r ung and we forgot to write sung s ung let's try putting the o sound before ung o ung lung very good. The last one I want to do is a blend. Do you remember what the ST blend says? Let's say it quickly. St, 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 ung. Dung. Very nice. Let's try a sentence. The bee stung the rat. Good. The Make sure you have a capital T. You're starting a sentence. B. And I'll give you a hint with the word B. When you use the word B like an insect, B, write two E's. So, so far we have the B stung. The rat. One more time before I reveal my sentence. The bee stung the rat. There it is. The bee stung 
the rat. Check to see if you put space between your words, a capital T, and the correct punctuation, which is a period in this case. We are not asking something. We are telling something. All right. High five, everyone. You are now officially able to quickly read the ing, ang, ong, and ung chunks, which all four end with that ng blend. Ng. So, I will see you guys again soon. Goodbye, everyone.